On January the 21st, 2012, a young bobsleigh driver made his World Cup debut at the birthplace of the sport Samaritz. He was the two-man junior world champion. He'd already claimed three Europa Cup titles. And in a taste of things to come, he had won all but one of the eight races in the 2011-2012 two-man campaign. There's no doubt that whatever hopes or expectations he might have had before the event, nothing could have prepared him for what actually happened. Now then, here is our newly crowned Europa Cup champion, won on this track a week ago. One of seven wins in an eight-run season, but he's disqualified. His brake man is not on board. And the start time, 5.40. He knows from the weight not hitting the back of the sled. But he's got no option now, Francesco Friedrich, on his World Cup debut. But to drive the track in what is effectively now a one-man sled. The ice looks other than in the training and so I, I don't think that it could be happened that I lost my brake man. Yeah and I thought oh it's slippery today and I even saw it in the finish where the whole guy said this and then I saw oh Janis is not here and so I must go on the back position and break. Yeah it was really crazy and I never forget that in my life I think so. For some 21-year-olds, that might have been the end of the story, but not for this one. The next day, he made his four-man World Cup debut, finishing 10th in a field packed full of talent. His first trip to a World Cup podium came just three race weekends later, at the first race of the new season, where he finished third in Lake Placid in the two-man. To prove this was no flash in the pan, he repeated the feat in Park City and Whistler in each case, the top European sled. The World Cup returned to Europe. First stop, Altenberg. On home ice, no one could stand in his way. And on January the 5th, 2013, Francesco Frigi captured his first ever World Cup win in the two-man. It was his 12th race at the top level. Hey, this is your first gold medal in, in uh, competition. This must be a great day for you. Yes, here in Altenberg, in home track, we do a good job on start and track was good, little mistakes, and so we can win this race. Within a month, as the two-man and four-man junior world champion, he'd taken up a spot in the world championships back in San Moritz. This time, Janis Becker made it safely into the sled, and they led after the first heat two tenths of a second ahead of Switzerland's Beat Hefti. He lost a little of his overnight 35 hundredths of a second lead in the third heat as Hefti rallied. The closest opposition at this stage was Stephen Holcomb over a second adrift. It all came down to the fourth and final heat. He crushed Hefti at the start and drove away to claim an astonishing world championship win a year after his disastrous World Cup debut. Now everyone knew who Francesco Friedrich was, and in the seasons that followed, often all they could do was watch open-mouthed, marvelling at the way in which he claimed win after win after win. Fast forward to Winterberg, January 2021, and less than nine years after the world first caught sight of him, Francesco Friedrich claimed victory in both the two-man and four-man races bringing his World Cup victory tally to an incredible 46. One more than fellow driving great Andre Langer and tying brakeman Kevin Kuska and bobsleigh's greatest female driver Sandra Kiriasis. Fittingly, he returned to Samaritz to eclipse their records, continuing his winning ways, ending the World Cup season with 52 wins and counting. Back on home ice in Altenburg in Germany, Francesco Friedrich raced away from the field to claim world championship win number seven in the two-man, eclipsing even the great Eugenio Monti. And at just 30 years of age, he is likely to continue to set records for several more seasons that may never be beaten. Yeah.